if you train while you're sick, not only will you not recover from the workout and you might just be burning muscle and not replacing it, you will be sick longer. Warning. You're watching Dr. Todd Lee TV, where theoretically you could learn a bunch of cool shit. Greetings, Earthlings. Like, subscribe, and share this video. Share with a friend. Share with enemies. Share with people who think they know everything. Spread it like herpes. Also, speaking of herpes, I am a medical doctor and I could be your doctor. That only requires you to click the link in the description box. I can order you blood work, I can read the blood work, I can treat any illnesses. I basically, it's like an HRT clinic that's a one-man army. Also, I do coaching. Dr. Karina Dotson and I have a coaching business called Apex Coaching. So if you sign up with me, you get coaching, which is nutrition, programming, competition prep, or lifestyle coaching, as well as all the medical stuff. So you have three people, two doctors, and one business all right hopefully this is short because this is common sense if you're sick stay the fuck out of the gym don't go to the gym and get other people sick too there's no point even if you could work out hard and get the same results or progress you won't be able to recover you need those resources that would be spent on muscle recovery to heal the tissue. How do you not understand that? You need the immune system to fight your infection. Your immune system draws from the same pool of calories that your muscles do. They use the same inflammation pathway to repair damaged muscle as to fight infection. So if you train while you're sick, not only will you not recover from the workout, and you might just be burning muscle and not replacing it, you will be sick longer. So instead of being sick for two days, you're sick for five days and you lose more muscle. Being sick doesn't count as a deload because you're not really recovering. So often what you have to do is after you're sick, you have to spend a week doing a reacclimation week. And a reacclimation week might look a lot like a deload. I'd like to thank our sponsor, Fusion Regenerative Therapies, where I am the director of human performance. This is the practice in which I practice medicine. Uh, we'll be able to order you blood work, and read your blood work and help you with therapy as needed based upon the results of your blood work. Please click the link to get a consult with me and I can help you optimize your performance. Thank you. So one version of a deload is 50% load, 50% volume, 100% reps for three days. Then the next three days, it's 50% load, 50% reps, and 50% volume. Another way of deloading is staying out of the gym for three full days. Don't touch the weights, don't do cardio, don't do anything. You get your steps in just for the glucose sensitivity and digestion. And then when you come back to the gym, you do a reacclimation, which is five RAR, whatever, and then... Yeah, 5 RAR. Probably the same volume if it's only been three days. If you do a full week of a deload and you come back from a deload, you've got to roll it all the way back to maintenance volume. So like most people's plans have two to three sets per exercise. If you're all the way up to five or six sets per exercise, you would start over at like two to three sets per exercise. You'd start over at like three or two RAR. You know, you're basically not prepared for what you were doing when you stopped. It's, it's funny how often I have people deload so that they can get better because they're feeling bad. They're all beat up and shit and they're about to get sick, but I try to stop them before they get sick and have them deload. Then they come back from a deload and they pick right up where they left off with the logbook and bury themselves. I do that too. That I can understand because you don't want to lose progress, but you end up getting so fucking sore that you end up having to skip days and then it's a big clusterfuck. So don't train when you're sick. Stay out of the fucking gym. Don't get other people sick. Common sense shit. This needed to be done, man. Make sure to get me for your coach because you're just going to destroy yourself, destroy your life if you're one of those people that trains when you're sick.